everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is India and as you can see from the title, I've made another Kelly Moore purchase and I've made it with no regrets because as always, I got it when it was on sale. And so we are going to open this bad boy real quick while I'm thinking about it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. <clears throat> hit that bell notification button so you never miss anything. Let's go. We know how these go. I've done a few of them on my channel. I will link them above. So, I decided on this one. They were She was doing like one day flash sales. And so I kept my eye out. Um, I decided on this one because I've been wanting to get back into carrying um, larger purses. But not like too large of a tote bag. And so, this one came up. This one which is the Austin, I think. Shit, did I say that wrong? How awkward would that be if I said that wrong? <laughs> be kinda awkward. Um, but at least this way I'll be able to uh, look up the specs. It is the Austin, see? Y'all don't think I know nothing. I believe when the Austin first came out, it came out in multiple colors, but you know, this is kind of my aesthetic kind of earth tones with like a small pop of color. Um, but I love earth tones, so that's what I wear a lot. So I decided on this one because it is a bucket bag, but it's a pretty small bucket bag. Like, it's not a giant thing. Um, like, I have the cape right over here. So I've got two of their smaller um, bags. This is the cape. I use this bag a lot, actually, so. Like, a lot. I didn't think I would use this bag so much, but I use it for work, when I have meetings at work. So this is the cape. Can I zoom out? Boom! Look at that. <laughs> so this is the cape comparatively to the Austin. See? It's a little bit smaller. And then this is the A Beautiful Mess bag, which is a small backpack, which I do like its size. Um, and they're about the same size, which I think is still a little bit smaller. Um, and it's just a little bit larger than the Luna. Which, as you guys know, is my favorite small camera bag to travel with other than my Gata backpack. But it is a bucket bag, so they made it in classic bucket bag style. So you've got the draw cord to close it, but then she also gave you a snap to close it as well. Um, so no zipper across the top. Um, she gave us a short handle, so you can carry it as a shoulder bag. And there is a longer handle in here as well so that way you can also carry it as a messenger style bag in normal kelly moore fashion you have the removable camera bag insert so that way you can just carry it as a purse sorry i gotta go through this fast my memory card's gonna run out of space before i finish <laughs> um not gonna put it back in and then for organizational purposes you have this front this front flap here this is like kindle size maybe ipad mini size um that's a pretty it's a nice size for just, but it's just a flap so you know it's got a magnetic closure but flap and then just like the luna um it has these side pockets two two double side pockets on the side it's kind of like the luna's big sister is a good way to put it So, side pockets, great for business cards, memory cards, small wallets, um, anything like that. And then on the back, you've got one more pocket on the back, which is a good, ooh, that's a nice size. Good size for phones, um, lens caps, anything you want. Secret gum, secret candies. Um, on the inside, like a lot of her new bags, you've got clear pockets, um, which I sometimes keep chapstick in, business cards, um... My little twisty thing for the three-legged tripod. Um, and then, as always, you have a pouch here in the back that is a zipper pouch. So, it's a good place for passports and other things you want to be able to zip up to protect. Um, I'm going to try out this bag today, so I'm really excited. Because I want to switch into a larger bag, so we're going to get some of this stuff off. But I like this size. This is definitely a good size, but I like that it lays flat. 
when it doesn't have the insert in it, like it lays really flat. Like it's not a very structured bag. Look at that. You can literally fold it down. It doesn't have the insert in it, which will make this a great, great travel bag. Um, when you don't have the insert in it. Of course, a lot of the inserts are interchangeable. Um, so like if you carry one bag, you can always just take that insert out and put it into this one. And so you don't have to carry two inserts around if that makes sense. Um, I don't know if that's like a little tip or not. It's my tip to you. You're welcome. Um, but these are my favorite. They're such high quality. I think I, I got this bag for $89.99 and it's normally $149.99 for full disclosure. Um, like I said, I don't buy things full price. I don't. I swear I don't. I know it seems like I do. <laughs> but I don't. Because I work just enough so I can have the extra funds for this. <laughs> um, but that is it for this bag. It is a vegan leather. I mean, I'll just add that. It is a vegan leather camera bag. Um, let's do the rest of the specs. Um, it is water resistant, abrasion resistant, water resistant, abrasion resistant, make it durable and long lasting. The Austin works great to pair with a larger bag. Try the Libby 2.0 or Jude for a shoot. Pack all your gear in the larger bag. Then tote the Austin body crossbody as your shoot for the... Yeah, that does make sense. This is offered from the website. It is lightweight. The Austin is lightweight and will hold all you need without killing your back. It is definitely a lightweight bag, especially compared to the Scout and the other um, leather um, artisan bags they have. Definitely lightweight. Um, the Austin is one of the easiest of our bags getting out of with a snap, which is true, also true for people who want to steal your shit, so be careful. And this bag can carry up to a 10 inch lens, flash bone, flash, bones, batteries, and other accessories. And it carries up to a 10 inch tablet, so an iPad. Okay. Um, but yeah, so that is it for this beauty. I'm excited. I'm going to go use it. So make sure you follow me on Instagram and social medias. Because that is where you can always see me using new stuff. So I'm going to get out of here because I got to go. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell notification button so you never miss anything. Like I said before, follow me on all the socials. And y'all, until next time, keep turning the pages.